what's going on guys AJ here with Colorado Fisher Ed in today's episode we're gonna do a catch clean and cook of lake trout so we're gonna get out there catch a couple stay tuned and learn how we do this see you guys next time I'm gonna let my slut go I think if you let it go guys save yourself a bunch of trouble woohoo look how easy that was oh now that we're a little more deeper into the lake the walk isn't too bad as long as you find an existing path it isn't too bad All right, gonna unload, get a little fish liner out. Let's see where we are depth wise. Yep, we got 50 feet. I got one all over me. Oh, there's two, there's two playing with me. Oh, I just had a bite. Oh my God, I just had a bite. Dude, there's three on me, Paul. Got him. Yes. Oh, I don't know. They all seem big here. It's pulling. And this is a broom. Fishing with a broom. Nice one. Yeah, guys, I got that one is kind of a, a bleeder. We're gonna keep him, and I want to do a catch and cook, so we're gonna harvest just one. Yep. And that's a good size, 17 inch. Yeah, that's a good one to eat. Yeah, so we're gonna keep him. All right. Cool. Good job. Yeah. I've been meaning to show you guys. I got this on the rainbow trout bio bait, so it does work. Oh, there's one arch already. All right, guys, I'm going to work from 50 feet towards the spillway there. This way, we can just cover areas. That's all right. Now we're going to go and spend about three to five minutes in each hole to catch more wakers. Bad idea, guys, but this gives us good chances. Got him finally. Yep. Small, but fish. Fish to say the least. Here we go. Got him, Paul. Oh, he got him in on the vibrato. He didn't. He came after that fast, dude. Yeah. Got a fish on me. Already. Gah! See that? The bo that? That coming up to my mark? There, there, there. Finally, jeez. I am telling you guys, a twister tail is murder. Orange. There, see that twister tail is just, oh, that tail up. We're gonna let him go. No. I just wanna eat one. I wanna do a catch and cook with you later so I can throw it all on one episode. All right, guys, we have finally made it home. The lake trout is in the kitchen. We are going to get it cleaned and gutted and get it prepared. We have a special recipe we think you're going to enjoy. So stay tuned. 
watch how we do this and I hope you try this at home because it is delicious. So let's get back into the kitchen and see how we get it all prepped up and get it done. So we got the two lake trout here, uh, probably about 15, 17 inches. Uh, we're going to uh, gut him and clean him and show you guys how it's done. Alright, first thing is a fun part, you got to dress these fish before you bone them out. So just cut up to the gill. So anyway, this is a nice one you got, AJ. Just like trout, take out this bone. Take out the bottom fins first. And first cut on top of the backbone. Break right through the ribs. Bust his head open. Take out these rib bones. A little bit of orange meat. It looks really good, man. Looks very salmon-like. Yeah, more like a coconut because the coconut don't have the super bright red meat like those trout do that we catch. Yeah, it's almost like coconut salmon color. trimming these bones down. All right, we're gonna cook these right away, so let me get some of this belly trimmed off. I like to do it when we, before I cook them. So I get this membrane trimmed off. You can cut out some of this belly too, which I'm gonna do. That dude's ready. Cut off his head now. All right, so what we're gonna do is like stuff them and fold them over and let all that stuffing that we're gonna stuff them with we're just infuse the meat. I think it's gonna be pretty good, AJ. Next best thing, buy some rice aroni 10 for 10 at King Supers. <laughs> so this here's the Spanish rice. What I'm gonna do, cook this up. I'm going to stuff this trout full of it. All right, folks, our Spanish rice is done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in here. And the best way to do it, so you got it uh, totally good, where nothing will fall out, is to sew it up. I'm just going to put some uh, Spanish rice in here. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be good. It's it. Like you said, too bad we don't have smell of vision. Alright. Yeah, that skin is tough, dude. That skin. Puncturing through that seems a bit It's like hard. leather. Then we put these dudes on the sewing machine. Watch me stab myself and I'm gonna be bleeding all over this fish. Dude, people, this is not very easy. Oh my gosh, that looks Oh, that looks amazing. Now, this is what I'll put them on. I'm gonna put them on this little dude here. Oh yeah! So for today's fish that we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna do probably bake. Let's turn it on to bake. Now Paul, what's the alternative people don't have the Ninja Foodie? Oven. Okay, oven and broiling it the same way in an oven. Okay. Yeah, you can do it in an oven. Uh, if you did it in an oven, I'd put it in a glass container and cover it with foil. But we got 375. I want to go higher temperature than that. I'm going to do 390. 390, probably for 12 minutes. All right, here's our sewed up fish. Put these in here. Ooh, they are done. Thread fell apart. Uh, looks like the rice stayed in there. All right. All right, let's uh, All right. get this thing out. And we're going to give it a taste test. Alright guys, it is finally done. Mm. Yes, I finally actually kept a fish for once. Paul, I want to thank you for cooking and getting this all ready for us. He is an amazing chef. I hope you guys learn how to 
do a similar style, so now it's all about the taste test. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. I'm gonna get some Spanish rice on here with a little bit of Laker meat. Dude, here we go. This fish is awesome, my friend. Mm hmm. Tastes kind of like salmon. Um, there's a little bit of fishy mm. taste to it, but it's not too strong. I think salmon has a more fishy taste than what this does. And that's why I kind of say it's not as strong, but if I'm going to compare it, it's oh my God. closer to that. So, not bad at all. Um, Dude, I think maybe more Mackinac might not be getting released. Don't say that. <laughs> let it go, let it grow. Anyways, guys, we're going to get back to eating this. If you haven't subscribed, leave a comment if you have any questions of how we prepare this. Paul, thanks for taking us out, man, and cooking for us. Anytime, buddy. All right, guys, take it easy. All right.